Hey guys, this is EB. And this is Scooter. And, and this, this is Macintosh, Macintosh Tips. Tips. This is Scooter with Macintosh Tips, and today uh, we're going to do a front row tutorial. Uh, front row is built in to your Macintosh. All right, so the things you will need: popcorn, which is optional, uh, an Apple remote, which is optional, and a Mac, which is not optional. Uh, now, the Apple remote can be picked up or shipped to you uh, at any Apple store or the Apple website. They are are nineteen dollars. Sorry. Uh, Nineteen dollars, and they pr they're pretty pretty well. Uh, they access front row. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, now front row um, pretty much activates with your iTunes. So go ahead and get your iTunes all set up how you like it with music, album artwork, uh, rename files because it'll sync to your iPod or to your iTunes. So I have my music collection here in my movies, and that's pretty much what I'll show you today. So uh, let's go ahead and start it. So you only need iTunes open. Uh, but you will need an Apple remote, or you can go to the Applications folder and access Front Row. So go to Applications, type in Front Row. All right, and it should be right here. Oh, there it is, right there. As you see, I'm moving closer for you guys. It's a little uh, Front Row chair. You can click it, and you'll do this. It can happen the same thing with the Apple remote. So you don't need an Apple remote, just this application, which is free, built into your Mac. Let's go get started. Now, the Apple Remote, it uh, works really well. You don't have to be around your Mac right up close to it. Um, you can just press menu button, the menu button on the Apple Remote, and you can access Front Row like this. And now Front Row is started. All right, and to get out of this, you can hit uh, the menu button as well. All right, now this works really, really well because I can be way back here and press menu, and it still works. Alright, let's see if I can go even further back. Way back here. Press menu. And it still works. It can even work way back here. I'm just kidding. So this, this Apple remote is very handy. It can be used for if you're at a party and need some better music, you can definitely use this. Or if you just want to be on the couch and watch a Batman of the Dark Knight on your uh on your Macintosh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So let's get in the front row. You see this beautiful interface. Now Apple really takes uh, hardware very well, like with their iPods and with their Macintoshes. And even their software has good uh, design to them. All right, this looks way better than Media, media Center to me. All right, they have movies, you have TV shows, you have music, podcasts, photos, and then settings and sources. These, like I said, these all sync to your iTunes. Now uh, we're gonna go here to the movies. All right, and pretty much you can at the top here you can you can search the top uh, movies in iTunes. So we can click it here and number one is Batman of the Dark Knight and it gives you all the cool things and everything like that. Alright, you can go back. You can see the best trailers, your movie folders if you have some of those set up. Alright, I have some of those set up for me in, uh, in my movies folder in iTunes, right? So all of our Macintosh Tips videos uh, right here, okay? Uh, so stuff like that. Alright, uh, now the my um, front row it, it's very beautiful uh, quality. So I'm going to play our Mac vs. PC battle, which is on our channel. Uh, if you haven't seen it, very, very good. Uh, took a whole, took about a month to create, and it really turned out nice for us. So we're going to go ahead and click this here. All right, click the center button, and it plays. Start from the beginning. Hey, hey guys, guys, this is EB. And we can skip through the, through the movie. All right, we can pause. Alright, we can bump the Man, volume. Did you change my desktop? Alright. We can Buff. go backwards. Alright. So as you see, you can play front row from way back there on your couch with any movie you like. Uh, so that's very, very cool. You can do this with any movie. I have a lot of videos here, which I can do this with. Now, uh, to make sure you don't delete the files off of your computer because uh, front row will not uh, work. So let's say you upload a movie from YouTube onto your iPod, and then you delete that file. You can't use it in, uh, in front row. 
that's one of the downfalls to it. Uh, they have TV shows, and you also have music. Now, music works really well. All right, it has the album artwork going across, and again, you can search the top iTunes songs. And Beyonce here is uh, killing them with the top Beyonce, uh, songs. Um, I can go down to my songs. All right, uh, and I'll go down here. All right, I have all my music collection. All right, I've got a song picked out for you guys. It's a pretty, pretty nice song. Here, let me go on down. For you, I uh, know Macintosh Tips is not allowed to play copyrighted music, so we're gonna play uh, this song here, our leopard intro. All right, and you can pause it, you can bump up the volume, uh, everything like you did on the movies. You can skip songs, skip tracks. All right, and it'll go just like that. So uh, very, very simple there. Uh, and they're simple. You can shuffle the songs, all your music videos. So front row, just a quick little uh, tutorial here on front row. It's very, very nice. Uh, you can also do photos, which is very cool, and a podcast for you guys who uh, like podcasts. And it has your last imported uh, thing in the iMovie, so th or iPhoto. So this is my last photo uh, imported into iPhoto right here off interfaceloop.com, and it shows me that beautifully. Or I can take all the photos I have and do a slideshow. Alright, so it's doing a slideshow of all my photos. Uh, very cool, and even shared photos that I have. Alright, and click here, go to photos, and you can separate them uh, here, just like this. And now it only slideshows in the event you made. Alright, so you can do things like that. Very, very cool. Uh, so this is just a quick little tip on front row. Uh, it's built into your Mac, like I said. Uh, Alright, so this is just front row. Uh, like I said, it's a built-in app. Syncs with your iTunes. Uh, so make sure you have an Apple remote if you uh, you don't need one, but it's, it'll be very, very helpful. You don't have to sit by your Mac the whole time. Uh, you need the front row application, which is built into your Mac, and make sure you sync it with your iPod and iTunes. And uh, don't forget your Mac and your popcorn. Your Mac cool. and your popcorn. Your Mac and your popcorn. Your Mac and your popcorn.